Hey guys, my name is Cornelius and welcome back to Clueless Realtor where we help realtors succeed. In today's video, my wife Nancy is going to show you how to use the Canva branding feature to create your branding colors, your brand logo, and to also create on-brand designs. As a realtor, you're already in a saturated market. So what better way to help stand out from your competitors by constantly branding yourself at all times? So watch to the end of the video to see how easy it is to use the Brand Kit Pro by Canva. If this is your first time to my YouTube channel, then consider subscribing today. And also hit the notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever I upload any new videos. Now, let's have Nancy take it over from here. So here we are in canva.com. We actually have the Canva Pro in order to access the brand kit. So you could try Canva now for free for 30 days. So make sure that you use our referral link. We will leave it right below the video. That way you have access to the brand kit and then try Canva for 30 days to see if you like it. Now, when you're ready to set your brand kit in place, you will need to click right here. It says brand kit. And from here, you're able to upload the following. You're able to upload your brand logo. And this is Cornelia's brand logo. This is my brand logo. And the cool thing about it is that once you upload it to Canva, there's no need to upload your logo every time you need it. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. In addition to that, you're able to upload your brand colors. So this is my brand colors. This is Cornelia's brand colors for Clueless Realtor. And this is gonna ensure that your digital assets and materials that you share as a realtor all the time online have your digital colors or your branding colors. And it's gonna make you make sure that you stay in brand because it's really important as a realtor so you can stand out amongst your competitors so you could set the tone of your company and so people could start remembering who you are. It all starts with branding. So this is why this is so important to have them already in place. That way, every time you're creating any type of content, whether it's for social, whether it's for your email marketing, whether it's for a blog post, whether it's for, let's say you happen to have a YouTube channel, you are always using the same color from your palette. And in addition to that, you're able to say your fonts. So these are the fonts that we use for both of our business. So you could use a commercial license font that Canva allows you to use. They have over 50 free ones, or you could purchase one and upload it on Canva and use that one instead. It really depends on the fonts that you're using. So once you're ready to kind of create anything, this is what you would do. And I'm going to show you how to use the brand kit. So let's say I wanted to create a post for Instagram and we're doing like an open house post. So I would create my post, this is for my Instagram here. And let's say I wanted to do the background color, I could click on background color here. And I could actually go here and pick from our colors if I wanted to. I could click on the little color box right here and pick from our brand colors. So let's say we wanted to do this blue color which is the brand color here. So now we have the blue. Now let's go ahead and add an image um, to this particular listing. So let's go ahead and go up to photos. And I'm gonna look up homes, but obviously if you're selling the house, you most likely will have a picture of that particular home that you're selling. So we're gonna use this one as an example for the purpose of this video. So let's say this is the open house that we are gonna have. So I have my color already, I have the actual photo that I'm gonna be using. I could click on styles, and from here, I'm also able to choose brand colors, and I'm also able to choose the fonts that we currently have. And then it gives you additional fonts that you could use, but you always wanna stick within your fonts. And you could go here to fonts and find your font and other ones that are trending. So this is Cornelia's font here, so we're gonna stick with that one. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to the text, to the actual picture here. So let's see. Yep, it came out. It just moved down here for some reason. So we're going to push it up and we're going to do it here. So I'm going to say open house, right? And I'm going to move this a little bit more up. And I'm going to be here Sunday, uh, 
on September 14 from 9 to 5. Or 9 to 5, right? I don't think open houses are that long anymore. It used to be like that back in the day. Um, but this is just an example. So let's say this is my open house that I'm helping Cornelius create a actual post about it. So we have this already. So let's say we wanted to include our logos. You will click on folder, logos, and then your logos are here saved already. So as you can see, you don't have to physically look for your logo on your computer to upload to Canva. It's already saved in here. So all I would need to figure out is which one I wanna use, either this one or this one, because we have two variations. I think this one looks a little bit better for this picture. So we're gonna use this one. So let's say I wanted to use that logo there. And let's say I'm happy. This is like, I'm happy with this picture. I think it's good to go. I don't need to do any changes. So once you're happy with this, then obviously you would just save it. You could leave it as a PNG and just download it. And this is what you will use to post on Instagram. And you could actually use it as well for Facebook. Um, it's optimized correctly. So you see how great that looks? I have my branding color. I have my logo. And I have my, my font that I use for all of my material. Essentially, that's what you want to do for your business. You want to make sure that every time you're creating any type of marketing material for your business, that you don't deviate from your brand. Because if you want to grow in the online space, especially as a realtor, because it's so saturated right now with so many real estate agents, if you want to separate yourself from everyone else, is by creating an impactful brand. So having a brand kit on Canva is one of the key elements that you need. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any additional questions about this video or anything else that you would like us to create, make sure that you leave a comment below. Let us know if you enjoyed the video and thank you guys for watching.